these lights down. They don't need to know that much about me. <laughs> Thank you. These crow's feet are a private affair. Okay. How are we doing tonight, Chicago? Make some noise. <laughs> Yes, thank you. Just so I can do my quick poll so I know who's here and who's here for what, can my straight women make some noise? I ain't doing nobody's eyebrows, so don't get comfortable. Okay, can my, can my gay men make some noise? Okay, okay, we're here. Okay, can my lesbian women make some noise? Fabulous, thank you, thank you. Can my straight men make some noise? Yeah. I will suck you get in the bathroom. <laughs> I haven't changed since high school, why should you? <laughs> and, <laughs> and then, do we have any like non-binary, they, them, fluid, anyone I have an earlier claim situation that wants to represent themselves? <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. Because like my pronouns, I, I know I look like with this with makeup, but I'm not like uh, gender fluid or like non-binary. My pronouns are me, my, and mine because I'm selfish. <laughs> I, I, I just, I don't take myself that seriously. I'm not there yet. Um, this makeup is not a gender identity situation. This makeup is inspired by Melania Trump. <laughs> she, yes, yes, you put on six pairs of eyelashes and you wait for someone to marry you. It's, <laughs> it's the perfect tool. It's the perfect tool. The, um, the shaved head is pretty new for me, because um, like when the, the goal with it when I shaved my head was I wanted to look like an ancient Egyptian princess, <laughs> and now I just look like an ancient alien. So <laughs> it comes and it goes. It comes and it goes. So I do feel like I do have to tell you, since I don't have my natural hair texture, I, I'm black, I swear. I'm mixed. Okay? Like, it might look like I'm Rachel Dolezalling you, because <laughs> But that is not the situation in any way, okay? I had my DNA analyzed, I spat in the jar, I set it away, I'm black, I swear, okay? I swear. Because like growing up, I didn't really know what I was, like, um, because my mom's white, and so were her two other kids, so I just followed the old adage, you know, when in Rome, identify as white trash. And we had a good time. We had a good time in Springfield, Illinois. I wasn't mad at nothing. But then when I finally got the results back for my, uh, for my aunt, ancestry, uh, I finally was able to make so much more sense out of my life because I'm 60% white and 40% black and 100% relieved because <laughs> like, I finally can make sense out of everything. I, I finally explained why underneath this drag I look like Steph Curry and <laughs> it comes together. And most importantly, it finally explains why I want a black boyfriend as bad as my mom pretends she didn't. It's, <laughs> This is full circle. This is full circle for you. Um, other things that I want to talk about that's really important because we're here. We're here for Gay Pride Month. We're here for the gay people. There are not that many gay men really who do stand-up comedy. So I just want you to know, like, I'm not rabid. Like, this is not a monster or a beast from the creature within. Like, we're in captivity. We're real. We're here too. Um, we actually have one other gay man. That's uh, two other gay men that are on the lineup tonight. We have a drag queen. We've got uh, we've got gender fluid people. We have all sorts of representation. So I'm happy you're in the audience. I'm happy you're on stage. We're gonna have an amazing show. Uh, we're gonna have so much fun, and we're gonna start that fun with an amazing comedian who helps run this show. He he does a lot of amazing work, both on and off stage. We'll talk about it later. But. Um, I want you guys to be really, really excited and make a ton of noise for the very, very funny, get her ready for Spencer Blair! Yes, we are all active members of the family here. Daniel, are you circumcised? <laughs> I, you can, we can well, talk that's about that. That's the one later. I forgot to ask. I, I think of everything, baby. That's why I'm hosting. <laughs> I do not believe in foreskin, America. We're just gonna talk about it right here, okay? And because, you know, it's indigenous to the Dominican Republic. Mm -hmm. They grow it right up out of the ground like a taproot. You can just pick it like a carrot. But um, our, our, our next comedian that's coming to the stage who might not have foreskin, I don't know, it's none of my business. There are more important things that come to a live performer. 
Okay. You don't mean force can be a mustache. See, we have, we have a lot going on here. Okay, so our next comedian that we have coming up is so funny. Um, they produce a show um, called Strip Joker in which the comedians tell their jokes, but they also strip. And I did it, and I got down to boxers and nipple tassels because I'm classy. Um, yeah, the last thing I took off was the eyelashes because all for you, all for you. <laughs> So they are going to come up and do an amazing PowerPoint presentation, and so I want you to get so ready for the very, 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 very queer, very, very, very funny, very, very hilarious Brittany Meyer. Yeah. 